the doctors, if I hadn't advocated for him, he probably would not be here today. He would be dead. The blood clots would have killed him. And every once in a while, a doctor would say, yeah, I can see how that makes sense. And they would say it quietly, like they didn't want their colleagues to hear. We are indiscriminately just giving these vaccines to young adults. These young adults have a higher likelihood of being harmed by the vaccine than being harmed by COVID. That means that we are not doing what's medically necessary. We are causing medical harm by vaccinating young adults and if we vaccinate children. The original source of his blood clots in his brain is still there. Our hope is that it is stable, but it is so incredibly rare, the doctors have no idea what is going to happen with it or if it's going to be there for the rest of his life if it's going to present a risk down the road. We have no idea. And I know there are a lot of people that are, that are saying um, people like me are lying. We're not, we're not lying. I have nine days of hospital stay and visits and $100,000 of debt. The doctors don't know how to treat you when you come in because that information has not been shared. So your condition continues to escalate. I would beg them to stop to stop hurting children and teens. I would beg them, I would beg them because that's what they're doing. Indiscriminately vaccinating children and teens who do not need the vaccine is causing harm. It is destroying lives, young, healthy lives. I'm lucky my son is still alive. I know there are other children who are not. 